On this week's edition, we're going to tell you about some important progress that has been made on better telling our community's full history. I was sitting with Chris Williams and Victoria Matthews. Chris is the assistant director at the University of Mary Washington's James Farmer Multicultural Center. And Victoria is the tourism sales manager for the city of Fredericksburg. All right, um, so Chris, um, thanks again for joining us. And um, tell us about the, uh, the new panels that have, that have recently been installed here in the city of Fredericksburg. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, the panels that uh, we, the city has currently installed relate to the Freedom Riders' uh, 1961 voyage into the Deep South. Um, Dr. Farmer um, was the architect of the Freedom Rides endeavor um, in 1961, so this year will be the 60th anniversary of the Freedom Rides. The other panel relates to the Negro Motorist Green Book. It's a book that was written by Victor Green in 1936 and the Green Book was a document that provided African Americans the opportunity to travel down south and have different places to stay whether there was people's houses or hotels owned by black people. Here in the city of Fredericksburg there was two such hotels, the Rappahannock Hotel and the Hotel McGuire. And on that wayside panel, there's an image of those two hotels. These two locations were prime locations because Princess Anne Street was the main strip where people traveled down south back in the 60s. We captured those histories on those two panels. And then Victoria, why don't you tell us about the third panel? Sure. So the third panel has to do with John the Baptist. Uh, he was a free black man in Fredericksburg. He established a shipping wharf and in 1792 ran the Falmouth Ferry. He also served aboard a ship during the Revolutionary War. Uh, his family has ties to the Underground Railroad, so there's going to be further development both at the site and as we delve deeper into the family history to see what those connections with the Underground Railroad are. So stay tuned for more information on those topics. All right, uh, and why don't you talk a little bit, Victoria, about the collaboration uh, between the University of Mary Washington and the City of Fredericksburg that led to these three panels? Absolutely. Um, I met Chris on a trip that he put together in October of 2019 um, to take a look at the Freedom Riders trip and the sit-ins. And we've been wanting to do a civil rights trail in Fredericksburg for a couple years, and I needed to delve into the history a little bit to see what was here on those topics. I mentioned this to Chris and he immediately wanted to partner up on this trail and so we have proceeded to do that over the last couple of months. Uh, to that effort, we have, we're developing a civil rights trail. The civil rights trail is something that we are working on with uh, Dr. Devlin, Dr. Henry and uh, Dr. Hannah, along with several UMW students, historic preservation classes and oral history and interns. And so we've got a lot of really good help on this project. A lot of that, uh, I'm thankful to Chris for helping partner up with, with that effort with the city on this trail. I understand that some of those same professors that you mentioned have, have been involved with the research for the, the panels that are up, is that right? That's correct. We uh, gave them some drafts of uh, verbiage to look at and they really helped us um, get the language right and make sure our facts were straight. So that was very helpful. Okay. And um, Chris, I guess just uh, finally, um, why do you talk about the significance of, of having these three new panels up in, in town, why that's important for our community? Uh, I think it's um, vitally important to tell the comprehensive story of the contributions of African Americans here in the city of Fredericksburg. Uh, this is just a start of telling that comprehensive story and I'm so happy to be involved with it. Um, Victoria has been a wonderful partner and as well as Angela Freeman in the city of Fredericksburg as a whole and back in this effort, as well as Councilman Chuck Fry. Um, he played a really instrumental role in securing the funding for uh, this to actually happen. So uh, credit to uh, Vice Mayor Fry. Um, it's just, in the time that we're currently living in, I think it's become e even more paramount 
that we tell the story of African Americans, not only just in the city of Fredericksburg, but the country itself. It's time for us to really explore beyond the surface level of history and, and delve deeper, because you know we're going to find some golden stories here. Absolutely, I well, certainly agree. And um, thank you to Chris and Victoria for all the work that you've done that's led to this, and certainly all the uh, all the other folks with the city and the university who have who have played a role in this. It's certainly been a team effort, and it's great to see um, some of the fruits of your labor now play out. And so. Um, so be sure to come visit these panels for yourself. Uh, you can find two of them at the corner of Princess Anne and Wolf Street, and the other one at the DeBaptiste property at the end of Canal Street uh, by the river. Um, so uh, Chris, Victoria, thank you for joining us today. Um, that'll do it for this week's edition. We appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so you get an email each time we put out a new video. And subscribe to our Fred Focus newsletter, uh, which has this video uh, in addition to a lot of information about uh, business news and events uh, here in the city of Fredericksburg. Uh, we will see you next week. Thanks for watching.